That is pretty good. All right. So this is my 2007 uh, Yamaha R6. It is my race bike. I've got a few sponsors that I'd like to give a quick shout out. Extreme Fire Solutions. Uh, they I actually work for those guys. Um, and Jody, my boss, has been amazing. He's uh, sponsored me every year. I've also got uh, Central Coast Performance. Good mate of mine, Scotty. Used to work with him at Central Coast Motor Group. Sick. Um, also got Addiction Designs. Um, they've supplied me some clothing and whatnot. Nathan, he's another good mate of mine. Yeah, so they're all the guys that are on board this year. I am entered in the St George uh, Club and Cup. It's the 600cc class, which is the more serious class, to be honest. And I'm also entered in Club Sport A, which means um, it's actually for machines that are pre-2008. Quick rundown on it and what I know about it. It's got a full spark uh, exhaust, which I made it look pretty I'm just tripping over stuff made it look pretty it's got k-tech rear um, has mupo front forks it's got a uh or sp race uh kit which is basically a pretty rudimentary uh pit lane limiter uh and launch control system so i have friday off because we've got friday practice It'll get me up to speed with the bike again um especially after i had surgery not long ago um a few months ago now, I uh, tore my uh, tendon for my bicep, my distal bicep tendon. Um, and it's a shit injury, I'm not going to harp on about it, but it is a shit injury and this, this arm is weak as, weak as all hell now. So, it's going to be interesting trying to muscle this little thing around. Jesus, you are, you are, you are, you are breathing so loud, dude. Hang on, let's double check. Yep. Escape artist, the dude, the dude will just creep up on you. And look at him, he thinks he's so slick, don't you? You do, don't you? Yeah, that's what she sounds like. She's all packed up, ready to go. drive about an hour and a half I've left probably about 20 minutes late because I'm an idiot I don't think many people will be in a rush to get started today it's pretty bloody gross here we are we've made it um, I hate talking in front of people so but yeah it's we're here it's still, still fucking raining, but we're here, we've got wets on, got the warmers on, we're setting, setting them to the temperature and to the pressure. I took a little bit of preload out the front, a bit of preload out the back, and got my light timer on. We'll get a base setting and sort of see if we can swing it this weekend. Got my old shit suit, I'm gonna wear that out in the rain. Got a clear visor. Put it in there on my helmet. Um, yeah, I think we're probably up in the next half an hour, 45 minutes maybe. I skipped the first session just because it was shooting down rain and I, ha I wasn't even set up yet. So I thought I'd just skip it um, and just take my time. I'm not in any rush at all. If I get two or three sessions today, I'm happy. Um, give us some sort of base with the bike. Um, so yeah. These boys are out there ripping. Still pissing down rain. Bought myself $480 worth of brand new wets. Because these ones are actually 10 bloody years old. Get out of here. So these are going on. So I'll slap them on. 
should be able to drop another 10. So that was good, good surf. Just did a 201.9. It's really happy I bought these, so stoked. Those ones can get fucked. Um, this is how wet it is. Yeah, so it's pretty bloody wet. So clean now, dry, dry myself off. Try and get my suit semi dry with the wind that's going on through here um, get these dry put the helmet on that probably pull it dry it out overnight back up go home
it on pole position for both. Yeah, I just beat the horn. I put it on pole position for both. Ended up doing a one minute 56.9 uh, for 600. That put me on pole. And then I did a 159 something. Or 158.9, something like that. For clubby. So, and we went out for the first race finally. And just fed it to the line. And um, realised I crossed the line in first. Two pole positions in a first place in one day. Mate, you cannot get much better than that. I canned a day because a bloke actually crashed in that race and um, spilt a shitload of oil all over turn four, which is like probably the worst, worst point of the track you could do it right at the top of the hill. So.